YouTube. Um, before I start, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the way my voice sounds. And the way the volume is, I don't know if it's going to get better if I like put my face all up in the computer like this. But I don't plan on doing that for the whole video, even if that is going to work. I don't know where the mic is on this computer, so I think the way I have my mouth positioned as to where it is on this thing might have something to wait to might have something away. Yeah, no, that might have something away. Might have something to do <laughs> with the way that I found in the past couple videos that I've uploaded. But, there's nothing I can do about that, so I mean if it bothers you, I I really don't know what to tell you besides don't watch the video because I don't know how to fix it, um, and I can't uh, make these videos on my phone. Well, I could, but I can't down here because I'm lucky the lighting looks so good on this computer. If I was trying to make this video down in my basement on my phone, you wouldn't even be able to see my face, and that would be kind of a pointless video. But, now that that little rant's out of the way, um, don't worry, not all, not all of them are going to be like this. When I'm like outside or upstairs making a video or something, I will be sure to do it on my phone so my voice doesn't sound as nasally and terrible because I know it's probably torturing your ears right now. But I appreciate you watching me anyways, so if you're sitting here dealing with my voice and the shitty way it sounds on this computer, then thumbs up for you and I love you. But anyways, on to the actual video, I want to share my playlist with you guys. Because, um, in my life, music, um, music is such a coping skill and an outlet and just, if any of you guys have been through the things I've been through, you know, like, self-harm, depression, social anxiety, all you know, stuff like that, even, even if you just have, like, an anger problem, like, I don't, if you've ever been hospitalized or gone to counseling or anything like that, you've probably heard of the thing called coping skills, and it's something you can do when you're in one of those moods, like, if you are a frequent self-harmer, um, I would say if you're in the kind of mood where you really want to go cut yourself or burn yourself or, you know, pull your hair out or whatever your form of self-harm is, um, you know, depression, being suicidal, anytime you feel suicidal, anytime you feel sad, anytime you feel like no one cares, like, you know, anger issues, anytime you get mad, anytime you just want to hit someone. Anytime you want to do anything negative, the coping skill is there for you to feel better, per se. Um, you know, some people draw, some people sing, some people write, um, some people play a certain instrument, even like some people make jewelry. Some people exercise, even, you know, some people even just kind of go to sleep. It's whatever makes you feel better. In my case, um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say I don't like to draw and sleep and make bracelets and stuff because I like doing all that stuff as kind of a pastime. Um, but music has been my biggest coping skill slash savior ever since, like, pretty much my entire life. And I wanted to share with you guys, um, my playlist that 
makes me feel better. And I'm not going to sit here and read you every single song in it because there's a lot. But, um, just, you know, a few, a few of the songs slash bands that really, really helped me out as a coping skill with the depression and the self-harm and just stuff like that that hopefully if you guys have never heard of you can give them a try listen to them hopefully they help you out uh, maybe you've already heard of them and I don't know if you've already heard of them because if you've already heard of them then they probably already help you out but maybe it'll be cool to know another person that's kind of into the same thing as you if you don't already know a million people that are I guess sorry I'm rambling now but trusty dust trusty dusty I don't know where where that just came from where did I get that I don't know I'm losing my mind um what I meant to say was handy dandy. I don't know where Trusty Dusty just flew out of my mouth. Ah, uh, handy dandy cellular device here that has my playlist on it because I haven't even really seen an iPod or an MP3 player since I was like 13. Um, okay. The first song I would share with you guys, maybe not particularly the first song I would share, but the first song in, well, the first really, really relevant song in my playlist, because obviously some of the other music in here is just music I like to listen to and not really some of my coping skill songs, but, um... Bowling for Soup. That's not the band. It's, I mean, it is the band, not the song. I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me right now, and I'm not going to be able to edit this video because I don't know how. So, Bowling for, Bowling for Soup is the band, and the song that I listen to more times than the other song would be When You're Gone. And the whole song is pretty much kind of talking about, hmm, how do I explain this without actually being a corn and just saying the lyrics? Um, it's basically saying no matter what happened to you don't waste your time being upset not don't not so much don't waste your time being upset but don't waste too too much time grieving over one hurtful thing because you don't get that time back to be happy once you're dead. And I know the once you're dead part kind of gruesome of me to say, but it's pretty much saying while you're alive, instead of sitting there and having all these grievances over you know, all the hurtful things that have happened to you, spend your time being happy and trying to fix the mistakes that you've made, or, you know, do you know, just, like, instead of being upset over something, just keep in mind that while you're sitting here being upset over this, you could be doing something else to make yourself happy. Because once you're, like, 90 years old and you're on your deathbed, Instead of laying there wishing that you weren't sad so much of the time and you were doing more happy things, then 
it's it's just kind of time that you can't get back that you said they're crying instead of perhaps using a coping skill to make yourself feel better. Clever Jaylene. Not really that clever. <laughs> I can't even talk today. But <laughs> that was that song. Um. Well, I'm trying to find the next relevant song. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you my whole playlist because, like, I can't sit here and play Colt 45 by Afro Man as my coping skill song because it's just, it's just one of those songs, you know? Um. Move Along by the All American Rejects. Um. Definitely, definitely helped me out a lot in certain situations. Um, it's kind of about, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, I know everyone has a different view when it take on what songs are about and stuff, but um, when I'm explaining what these songs are about to you, Mind you, before you scold me, if I'm talking about them wrong, it's what I hear when I listen to them. But, it's kind of about, you know, I, this one's just gonna be short, sweet, and to the point. Um, shit happens, move past it, like, just go, just keep moving forward, you know? Just, just move, just move along. <laughs> Precisely. Um, maybe I'll just, I'll tell you a couple of the other artists I have in here in between trying to find the song. Um, I actually have quite a few Bowling for Soup songs in here, by the way. They're, they're like a really good band. Um, Afro Man, I already said, Alice in Chains, All American Rejects. I have like two Asking Alexandria songs that I don't even really listen to that much. I was never too big into asking Alexandria. I just have, like, not the American average in, like, the final episode on here. Um, Weezer. I listen to Weezer a lot. I'm kind of upset. Uh, go away. Try and make videos. Um, Blink-182. Listen to them a lot. Um, Blue October. Um, definitely a very, very influential band. Um, I guess the most meaningful song by them to me that has kind of been a skill. It's kind of depressing, but it is Hate Me. And there's by Blue October. I know I already said that, but just in case you didn't hear me, I don't want you to have to like rewind the video if you want to soak up the song or something. But it's kind of one of those self pity kind of songs, and no one can lie. We all love the self pity kind of songs where we can just sit there and cry and be like, yeah, everyone hates me, and then get over it like five minutes later. But um. This song's kind of about, like, people that hate you. And it pretty much is saying the whole song, you know, it's probably best if you just hate me. You know, just, just hate me. Stay away from me. If, if you stay away from me, you can't hurt me, and I can't hurt you, so you might as well just stay away. Just fucking hate me, whatever. So that's that. <laughs> um, I have a lot of Blue October songs in here actually, because like I said, they are a really, really, really good band. Um, Breaking Benjamin. I have a lot of Breaking Benjamin in here. Um, Broken Side I have in here. They're not too, too influential. I mean, I guess songs like I Think I'm Going Insane and stuff 
could be used as coping skill songs, but since I never really did drugs and that's kind of what the song is about, then I never really. I mean, I guess if that's that's your choice and that's your situation and you've been a drug addict, that actually would probably be a really good song for you to listen to. But um. Oh, sorry. I like live asleep. Um. Uh, more wheezing. <laughs> um, I have Chelsea Grin on here, which I recently got into a couple weeks ago. Um, well, from my Valentine, Tears Don't Fall. Um, I feel like every emo kid ever knows this song. I'm not even really gonna sit here and explain it to you. Because, just for the simple fact that really, literally, like, everyone has heard this song, if you haven't heard it, if you're like that one person ever that has never heard the song, then go look it up. Tears Don't Fall, Bullet for My Valentine. It's a really good song. It really helps in certain situations. So, look that up if you've never heard it. Um, I have some Sublime on here. Cradle of Still. Um... A day to remember. A lot. Um. They've never been so much of a coping skill to me. Uh, they just make, like, really, really, really good music. So, if you all, uh, uh, can't talk, once again, then I'm not even going to finish that sentence. Because I messed it up. And I'm going to mess it up again. So, I have, like, Gimu on here. Um. Disturbed. Uh, Ed Sheeran. I have some Eminem on here too, just because, you know, fuck it, who doesn't like Eminem, right? <laughs> um, Face Down by the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus was definitely, definitely one of the songs that got me through that abusive relationship. Um, which I'm not gonna get into completely in this video because I made two completely different separate videos about it if you're curious as to what I'm talking about with that or you're in a an abusive relationship or anything or anyone's abusing you go watch those videos or you know you can message me or something I'm more than willing to help you out with that because it's absolutely horrible, but like I said, not going to get into that. Go watch those videos if you're curious, or, you know, if you need some support or something. But, face down, red jumpsuit apparatus, it's pretty much saying, like, you know, does it, like, sorry, that's a habit, I like bite my lips. Um, like, literally, I can't explain it. Well, I can explain it, but it's easier if I just, um, the lyrics literally say, like, do you feel like a man when you push her around? Do you feel better now as she falls to the ground? No. I'll tell you, my friend, one day this world's gonna end. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. She finally had enough. Blah, 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 blah. You know, it, it's pretty much about overcoming domestic abuse so that one was definitely a big help with that situation um my fallout boy on here falling in reverse skrillex because who doesn't like skrillex um five finger death punch flyleaf bossy the people uh papa roach um Scars definitely would be the most influential song. Once again, not gonna sit here and waste five minutes talking about that because everyone and their mother has heard Scars. <laughs> um, if you haven't, look it up. Um, Scars by Papa Roach. But, I'm pretty sure you have. <laughs> but, just like Tears Don't Fall, if you're that one person out of a million that hasn't heard it, look it up. It's actually really, really good. It's pretty much just like everyone has a past, you know, but 
there's nothing you can do about it. Um, you kind of have to focus on yourself instead of focusing on other people and helping other people if you're in enough pain yourself. I don't know why I just explained that when I said I wasn't going to, but just, just listen to it because it's an amazing song. Um, Good Charlotte. Um, Green Day. A lot of Green Day. Green Day, Green Day, Green Day. All day, every day. Because Green Day is amazing. <laughs> um, Hollywood Undead. Um, actually, Nice Called Lust by Hollywood Undead. That has been pretty influential, pretty helpful. Um, I can't really explain that one. That is one you kind of have to listen to and interpret for yourself because it's one of those songs where you could get more than one meaning out of it, but it's just, it's like a really, really meaningful song actually, depending on the way you interpret it. So Hollywood Undead, Nice Called Lust, um, look that up and listen to it, because I'm not entirely sure how to explain it to you. Um, I have Hobson on here, um, My Chemical Romance, Mortal Technique, um, I Don't Love You, actually, by My Chemical Romance is a pretty good song if if you're sad and upset over like a relationship kind of thing the song's basically saying you know if you want to treat me like shit and you want to walk out the door and leave me like go ahead but don't expect me to be here when you come back it's pretty empowering so yeah good song um black sabbath issues um Princeton Ave by Issues also really 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 helpful song if you're going through domestic abuse um Sorry, uh, people just got home. I got distracted. I was trying to figure out who was walking in my house. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? I am going to continue this video in a second part. So, watch part two to this, because this one's really long already. And it's probably going to take forever to upload. So, I'll see you guys in part two.